Namaste. I'm, my name is Divyani Bansal and I'm from the country whose Prime Minister is Narendra Modi and the father of nation is Mahatma Gandhi. So well, I am from New Delhi, India. My, I'm studying in Bluebell School International, class 16. And I have invented two bots, one is tap maker and one push bot and also one app, the personal security guard. So let me share my screen and show. So here's the first slide. As you can see, I participated in the IRC seasons, IRC school league national season 10. I'm going to give a presentation. I had made two bots, as I said, and my bot one name was Trump one, and my bot two name was Modi one. And my app's name was personal security guard. Also, my application was published on Google Play Store. So this was my team, the mechanical experts. Me on my front, on my right side, here's my friend Viraj. And on my left side, here's the, my friend Hemim. And do you know Viraj is watching me presenting live on YouTube. So according to me, IRC means that foster a passion for science and technology, also to master teamwork and collaboration, and obviously receive exposure to the world of robotics. Now IRC has helped us grow by what? Think outside the box for robust and practical solutions and many more. My team name in significant matters for me. And this matters by as masters in mechanical art, like being pros in mechanical bent of mind. Also, my team members played an important role. Like I was the creator of bot two and operator my friend Viranj was the operator of bot one and he helped in making one. And my Heyman, my friend Heyman was making a video and also helped in making bot one. Now you'll share, I would like to share some robot details. Like this was my mechanical design of bot one. And do you know it weighed just about 854 grams. We designed it in a way that it can carry two blocks at a time. As you can see where it's mentioned too, it is a castor oil and we oiled it, used some tips and tricks and oiled it for fast, for fast removing of it. Then we placed, as you can see the mark as third, we placed a motor such a way that it can carry two blocks at a time. And where it's marked as one, we used it for pushing. Now, the mechanical design of bot two, which was named Modi one. It weighed about 928 gram, having an advanced brain and three motors. Isn't that amazing? It can also lift objects up to 21.5 centimeter wide, which weighs up to 280 grams. And we designed this bot in a way that it can carry three blocks at a time. These were some pics when we were doing the durability testing. This is a Trump one and Modi one. Then, as you can see, some packets of cornetos and a pencil box for durability testing. Now, there was some winning strategy which we used for this competition. In this competition, we had a time limit for three minutes, so we thought of working parallelly. The, the task of what one was to go and drag the blue and the black board, blue and the black blocks, and pass them over the crate. And the, the task of what two was to drag all these five blocks to the stack area and make a stack. These were the tips and tricks used, like tying rubber bands, oiling wheels, and using hot glue gun. Now let's talk about the community impact. Well, in our community, we were appreciated by our neighbors and seen as a role model for kids. Also, in the juniors level, when we though we did not qualified for the international level, but we were happy to participate with national levels. And these are the picks when we passed the, the junior level and came in the third position. We also was seen in the virtual world. And I'll be showing as Avishkar. Yes. So I'll be showing the, uh, in the virtual world, we were posted our pics were posted on the Facebook 
As you can see, this was when we were receiving medals. We came third. This was when we were practicing for the uh, virtual worlds and uh, PPTs and presentations. And even uh, that was did the that, time. Did any please share your correct screen? You have to share the screen of your Facebook page. Sir, I shared that. Uh, no, we can only see your PPT as of now. Sir, but I have uh, not paused the share and it's still that. Uh, Wait, let me stop on? sharing again. I'll just do stop and share and do it again. Share. Um, sir, now are you able to see my screen? Yes, it's still there. Yes. So, sir, these were some pics when we were receiving medals and it was such a proud moment for all of us. And these are the pics while we were practicing. Uh, we were practicing, we did so much trial and error. And this board is just made of mechanisms, no coding. There's a whole gear system behind these two bars. So that was a surprise for us when the Avishkar team came and thought of an interactive session with all of us. So this was me questioning and answering uh, her questions. So let's see a short video on it. You're participating in which competition tomorrow? Uh, RC League Are you able to hear you. it? Hey, that's wonderful. How are you feeling? Would you like to talk about it? Yes, yeah, sure. So uh, it's been two years since I joined Robotronics and I was very, very, it was well going. But then I started to think I wanted to join this uh, IRC league, mm -hmm. but I could not. But now I've come in fifth and I have joined. I'm feeling very good that even I have uh, competed for the nationals, uh, which is going to held on Sunday mm -hmm. uh, for 15th of November. December. <laughs> December. That's okay. Uh, so I'm feeling very good and obviously God is with me always. I don't think whether we uh, win or not, but the thing is whether we participated and enjoyed it. Of course. Totally so, agree with you. So the journey is what matters and not the result. Yeah, that's what I want to say. So who now I will share my PPT. And this was really surprising for all of us is my picture in the back in the front gate of Thyagrad Stadium which is a most appreciated stadium in uh, in Delhi my uh, picture was on the banner so I clicked the picture through that and also this is the picture of the certificate which we achieved in the junior level and as I said we came third now I request Sir Prithi to share the video when we were practicing at home with the two points all right, thank you, Dibyani. I'll share the video. I hope the video is visible. As you can see, we were working parallelly. I was taking those golden and the orange blocks, and this bot was taking two blocks at a time, as I think you can see it. Then there's a crossover gate there. I put the two blocks at, in the stack area. My friend is passing them through the bridge. Use some shortcut as then that was said that your robot cannot go out of the red lines, the area which was mentioned. And it is said that your one part of the robot should be there on the arena. So we use some shortcuts. Now he is sending me, uh, uh, passing the blocks. They've got the pink block. That was the use of the push. Uh, the push thing it just it's just like a pull and do you know the best part of it was that we had to do in just three minutes with everything making a stack of those five blocks Here, there was a little problem as I wasn't able to do them, but then I was. The blue block did not come in the hands of my robot, 
but still it was good so here's a shortcut which i'm taking oh i take the shortcut now i put the four blocks into the stack area and one more is get to come shortcut and here comes the block in the hand with a great turn and my one b was still on the arena so there was no so we wouldn't disqualify Here's the shortcut. The bot one has come to its place. And now I'll make a stack. Keeping the blue block on the black block, then the pink, then the orange, and then the golden. It, there was a sequence to do it. And we had to do it all in three minutes. Though one time my block fell, there were trials and errors. I'm keeping the pink block. Now, after keeping the five blocks, my robot was allowed to go outside the arena to make this stack. Pink block is going to be kept. So this was my stack maker robot, the robot Modi one, as you can see in the label as well. The two motors were arranged in a way that they can carry two blocks, but but I missed this one. I was only able to make a three block stack. Yeah, and it's bald. But never mind. Yes, just now I'll be sharing my app, which I have made the personal security guard. So let's see that. Um, sir, can you make my second device also as a panelist uh, so that I can share my screen? And who do you want us to make a panelist? Ma'am, there's one more device named as the Biani Bunsen. Yes, I've got you. Here we go. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. As you can see, here is my personal security guard app. My main motive of this app is that when you press a single button, your SMS is sent, your location is sent, and even a call is made. What happens sometimes that when we are in emergency, people think we have to call, we have to send the location, we have to send an SMS, but sometimes it doesn't happen all in a go. But this was the main motive of the app, and I have created one. So here, in this session, you have the option to write your personalized message. Also, if not possible, you can choose the contacts here and write your message here once when you open the app first time. So I write, please help me. We have done this app because sometimes people forget to do save. So even if they press the back button, this app gets saved. I press save, back. Now I can write the contact here or I can even choose one. In this app, in the personalized message, you have the option to call and also to send the location. But right now, I don't have time and I am in danger. So I'll press the SOS button. It shows message sent and a call will be made. But let me show you how the message was sent. As you can see, the message, please help me, and my location is is sent at 7:56, which is 17:56, which is the time right now at India. With just one tap of this button, SOS. From here, you can close this application. 
you can even access Google from it. And one thing about this app is that when you close this application and reopen it, everything which you have written will be saved so that in time of danger, just press the SOS button. Here you can see me. You can go about the app, you'll see the rules. And you can even ask the Google because in times of danger, uh, when you are saved and you feel hungry, so you can uh, just uh, order food, suppose I write candy. You can order food or you can call the helpline numbers. You can order food or you can call the helpline numbers or if you're hurted, you can even call the ambulance. So that was my main motive of the app that with one single press, three things happen which are important when you are in times of danger. I haven't written the police things because when when you are in danger, police usually doesn't pick up call pages because of internet connectivities and all. But with the SOS button, even the, uh, even if one thing isn't available, like the location or uh, one isn't picking call, it will do every uh, either of those things. And it has done both of those things because the internet here is very good. It can even show your current location, address and GPS here, but it, it isn't showing right now. So with this, I end my presentation. Hope you like it. Just a minute. That was excellent. That was unbelievably good. Not only, frankly, what you created, but your presentation, the way you spoke and the way you talked about everything. Um, so you are 35 years old. Is that how old you are? No, I am only 10 years old. No, Ten. no, no, no. That's not possible. That's a mistake. There must be but something. I wrong. Am. There is something wrong with the Internet. You are 35 years old. That now uh, you can ask me questions and if you want and please ask me uh, tell me suggestions i would be pleased to listen to them well here's the story I, I have to be honest with you i have a ton of questions and i would love to talk to you a lot more but we have more presenters that we have to move on to but here's what you can do you are clearly somebody with lots of ideas and i'm sure you will come up with other things and do other things and we are going to have more gifts in the future. There'll be one in January, there'll be one in April, and then you can come back and we will talk about more things that you have done. But by then you will be, by then you will be 36 years old, right? No. <laughs> but thank you very much. This very good wonderful. presentation. Thank Excellent. you. Unbelievable. So much. Thank you. Mm -hmm.